Hello and welcome to World in Five. Corporate 24 Group of Hospitals and Health Services Providers have launched a new medical aid scheme targeted at reaching out to the low-income bracket. Speaking at the launch, Corporate 24 Group General Manager Thompson Muchineuta said they are revolutionizing health insurance with products that are going to start from as little as $1. He said only 5% of Zimbabweans have medical aid cover and said the new scheme is meant to offer inclusivity and have more people, even in the informal sector, being covered. We found out that only 5% of the Zimbabwean population is insured. So only 5% have got medical aid covered, meaning 95% are not covered on medical aid. Then we try to understand the reasons to say, why do we have such a large population that is not medically insured? So we, through the research that we, 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 we undertook, we then discovered that there are various issues but among them, chief among them, was the issue of affordability. Amid the growing threat of MPOX, formerly monkeypox, the Southern African Development Community 44th Summit held in Zimbabwe this Saturday has urged member states to strengthen disease surveillance, diagnosis, testing and clinical care, infection prevention and control as well as awareness raising of the disease at all levels of the community. Meanwhile, Harare says it is on the high alert for, for a potential MPOX outbreak. While the majority of cases have been reported in the Democratic Republic of Congo, neighboring countries like Uganda and Rwanda have also been affected. To raise awareness, Harare City Council has issued a public advisory detailing the symptoms of MPOX. It says other common symptoms are fever, chills, fatigue, muscle aches, headache and respiratory issues such as sore throat, nasal congestion or cough. The city added, unfortunately, currently no specific treatment for MPOX and available vaccines are in limited supply. The council is urging residents to be vigilant and seek medical attention if they experience any of these symptoms. Kimberly Chimbalanga gives us the latest from the courts. Five truck drivers have been dragged to court by their employers after they were found in possession of several litres of fuel part of their delivery. They appeared before Harare Magistrate Simon Candiero, who granted them 200 USD bail each with stringent conditions. Allegations are that the truck drivers would drain several litres from the tanker and sell it before delivery. The matter came to light when police from CID anti-corruption who were on surveillance pounced on the accused persons. In another case, a Harare man admire Mopande appeared before Harare magistrate Simon Cantiero for procuring, selling or producing petroleum products without a license. He was granted 300 USD bail with stringent conditions. Allegations are that the accused person was found in possession of 1,600 litres of diesel and 600 litres of petrol, filled in 200 litres metal drums. Concerns are growing in disaster hit Yemen over the mounting human and material damage caused by a devastating spate of flooding. The disaster hit the country following a prolonged period of heavy rain. The floods have had a destructive impact across several provinces, with at least 57 people being killed and thousands displaced across the country. Despite local authorities' efforts to mitigate the damage and help those affected, the ongoing rainfall raises concerns about the increasing losses of life and property. <laughs> That's all we had for you at World in Five.